Hey guys, it's time for something completely new. We're going to play The Great Gatsby for the NES. This is a little platforming game that someone made. If you go to the greatgatsbygame.com, you'll be able to play this for yourselves. We're going to full screen it here. Now, if you've never read The Great Gatsby, you probably should. It's a good story. I mean, they made you read it in, like, I don't know, year eight, I think. We play as Nick Carraway, and our first mission is to find Jim Gatsby, or John Gatsby, or Jay Gatsby, something like that. Gatsby. Basically, uh, in full screen mode, you press tab to shoot your hat. Space bar to jump. Right now we're just slaughtering butlers with our hats and drunks and dancers and all that kind of madness. It's a bona fide piece of printed matter. It fooled me. This fellow is a regular Velasco. He's a triumph. What thoroughness? What realism? Knew when to stop too. Didn't cut the pages. But what do you want? What do you expect? Look for Gatsby in the garden. That guy is weird. Great Gatsby, I'm trying to remember the book. It's been a long time since I've read it. From what I remember, uh, Nick Carraway is the narrator. That's the word I'm looking for here. He is the narrator for the whole book. He is a man from the Midwest coming to, I believe it's set in New York or something like that. New Egg, I believe is the name of the town or something of that nature. Anyway, uh, he is coming there to learn how to make money in the bonds business. When he rents a bugalo between Gatsby and the other affluent family in the book. You can tell it's been a long time since I've read the book. And what follows is struggles of new money versus old money, social acceptance, and just average bad people. But the game's fun. If anyone would like to write a little book report on The Great Gatsby and post it in the comments section. Well, if you really care, you can just read it on Wikipedia. Or Spark Notes or any of that madness. Chandelier's dropping. You can hit the chandeliers for extra points, which I sometimes do. And there he is. Good job, old sport. The green light. That's our man, Nick Carraway. And... I... I don't remember that from the book. Level 2, Valley of Ashes. Uh oh, there's a hobo Jim who just jumped off the train and killed himself. Birds are attacking us. More drunks on top of trains. More suiciding hobos. Now, when you get the gold hat, all it does is uh, gives you a little bit of extra life and gives you an extended range on your hat. Good shot there, if I do say so myself. Now, you can only throw your hat once while it's on screen, but as soon as it hits something and comes back to you, you're able to throw it again. So for times like that, it's good. This railway conductor. And it leads us to our first boss battle. Our only boss battle, really, but... 
giant spectacles. I forgot what these are supposed to represent. I don't think they represent anything. Took a hit there. Ooh. And one more hit. Done, done. Whee! Classic Mega Man jump there. Okay, putting the scene in a little bit of... This is where the female that Gatsby is in love with, who is married to... Uh, God, I wish I could remember their names. Callaways or something of that nature. Anyway, uh, they're... He, Gatsby is trying to get her to come with him to, you know, run away together. But I think it was at this point where Gatsby is learn to be a bootlegger and because he is not financially secure he knows that the girl will never oh she's not an enemy I think I've had enough of this two-bit town the girl's got to jump down a sewer to find a drink around here good night mr. Kaleway see you on anon now these hobos will rip me apart if I'm not careful so we're gonna go over here kill that one Yeah, I'm going to stop trying to remember the book, because I honestly don't. Knock out that hobo if I can. There we go. Good shot, Hat. Let's see if I can get up there. Yep. Good shot. You do not want to mess with these hobos if you can help it. They're, uh, they're rough. These guys are not too bad. Get the martini glass. Now, there are hidden bags of money, but that's the only one I know of. Oh, off the top of my head. Now, time for the sewer level. Yep, everyone loves sewer levels. Crocodiles and rats and all that madness trying to kill us. Again, I don't remember a scene where I went through a sewer in The Great Gatsby, but... Now we're about to come up to another new enemy. I think one of the tougher enemies in the game. The mobsters, they're... I forget what their storyline purpose is. I'm gonna take the hit there. Take another hit. Shouldn't have done that. Oh well. I'm about to die. Now you want to jump. Oh. Kill him. Jump over the door. Get the hat and no, no bag of money. Now for another boss battle type deal. You're fighting the baseball people. I am gonna die. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Moonwalk. Uh, maybe I just have to hit him. Uh, actually, I think the game bugged out on me. So, I died. But I think that was a game bug there. And you. There we go. That's how that's supposed to work. Get the 
points. Now time for the next cutscene in the last stage. Daisy, that's her name. That's where Daisy hits her husband's mistress. And her husband and her his mistress's husband shoots Gatsby in his pool because uh, Daisy's husband tells him that Gatsby's the one who was driving. Well, it was actually Daisy. Kill crabs and ghosts. This went from the Great Gatsby to Scooby Doo. Piranha that I keep forgetting about. One more, or two more. The green light. Again, if you want to know more about The Great Gatsby, read the book or get the spark notes. But that's the end. I'll let the credits roll. Gatsby believed in the green light. The orgastic future that year by year recedes before us. It eluded us then. But that's no matter. Tomorrow we will run faster, stretch our arms out further, and one fine morning. So we beat on. Boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past. Let you guys enjoy the music a bit. And this has been Let's Play The Great Gatsby for the NES. Short little game. Yuki-chan's papa. Bun-bun. Congratulations. Thank you for play. Try for no death game. I I last time I played this I got a no death game or whatever you want to call it. And I'm not sure it added a little scene at the end basically of uh Nick going back home to the west. I don't know if it's going to do it here. doesn't look like it. Anyway, I'm going to show you some, one more little thing. If you go to About, gives you the faux magazine ad, West Egg. Sorry, not New Egg. New Egg's a computer site. And it gives you a little story about how he found this NES ROM, or NES uh, cartridge had a garage sale for 50 cents. Very good touches. I, I like it. But anyway, this has been Let's Play the Great Gatsby. I've been Lord Scrumptious, and I will see you next time.